Hi Thrivers! Welcome back to my channel, Thriving in Chaos. Um, today we're going to be doing one of our most favorite videos to watch, cash stuffing. And I hope you guys enjoy it. We are going to be stuffing two checks today, which is our modus check, which ended up being eleven eighty-eight, and our paycheck number two, which ended up being twenty-three seventy-nine. So our expecteds are good. That's really good. Um, I like when we get paid more versus getting paid less than what I expected. So, with that being said, we are going to be stuffing quite a bit of money today, and if you're interested and want to watch, grab you some popcorn or a glass of wine, and sit back and let's budget. <laughs> So before I begin, I'm going to just go over really quickly what has occurred. Um, we got paid $11.88 and that was $188 more than what we budgeted for, which is good. So I went ahead and paid our truck payment with it and what was left was $298. So between that, we are going to be stuffing these um, cash envelopes with that. Usually I put the remainder over in car maintenance, but since it was so much of a remainder, I decided to like spread the wealth. <laughs> I have so many sinking funds. I wanted to just, you know, spread that amongst a few. The second paycheck, and the reason why we're doing both is because they actually came on the same day. So might as well combine them. Um, we got paid $79 more than I budgeted for, which is good. Some things to note. Um, I paid all of the bills, so the bills totaled to six thirteen twenty seven, and then um, I already bought groceries online delivery, and I already bought Sam's online, which I'm going to pick up today. So those two things have already come out of the account before pulling out the money for cash stuffing. So I won't be really stuffing much in groceries or Sam's today, and I think I want to kind of keep it that way because I do a lot of my stuff online. It's just a lot easier to compare also. If you'll notice, um, groceries is a lot less than 500, which is what I usually budget for, but Sam's is more than 250, which is what I usually budget for. So the reason for this is because I'm finding that I can buy certain things at Sam's a lot cheaper and get more of than what I can at my local grocery store. So I'm able to, you know, swap apps and compare and contrast and decide which is the better buy by doing that. And overall, I usually set aside it between the two, $750, and you'll notice that I didn't spend quite nearly $750. So that's good. Um, so I budgeted $350 for groceries this time. I had $6 left over. So I did pull that out. I budgeted $350 for Sam's as well. I had $40 left over. And actually, it turned out to be cheaper than that. So we're going to end up having a buffer, just like last time. Um, last time we had a $38 difference than what it originally said. And I don't know why that's happening. I don't know if they're if they're unable to find some things and I'm just not noticing or what. But it's ranging around the $40 mark every time now that it's cheaper than what I originally was told that it was. So anyway, there's probably gonna be another buffer, um, but I'm not gonna touch it. I'm gonna leave it into the account until it is finalized. So $40 is left over. Um, so I did pull this out and I also pulled out the uh, bank correction from the last paycheck from Sam's, so 38. So in all that's $78 and I'm probably not gonna put the full, well I know I'm not, I'm not gonna put the full um, cash here into Sam's. I'm gonna actually probably stuff some in groceries just for the just in case situation if that were to occur. Um, Oh, this is what I'm gonna do. Groceries, 56, Sam's, 28, so. Then, this is the account actions that I took. Let me go back to the modus. Um, we had account actions here. So what happens is my check 
drops into my billing account. And in my billing account, I leave what needs to be left in there for the bills. And then I transfer the remainder over to my spending account. And they are literally labeled billing and spending. So once I've transferred this over to my spending account, then I will pull it out of that account. So I only ever pull money out of my spending account, never my bills. So I transferred the 298 that was left over. I left 890, which is actually 888, I think is what our payment is. But I left 890 in the uh, billing account so that when it comes out, it's good to go. Did the same thing with this. This drops into the same billing account. I left the amount here, which was 613.27. I left that amount in the billing account and then I transferred over 1750 to the spending. The problem is that my uh, trash pickup charged me a $15 fee for uh, being quote unquote late um, because I couldn't log in. I don't even I don't even want to go into that, but there was a fifteen dollar fee, so I had to leave fifteen extra dollars in the billing account. So it's fifteen dollars more than this is what I left here, and I transferred seventeen fifty to spending. Then we did do Krispy Kreme, and I took out the groceries and the sands that I already spent. So those three items are coming out of that. That leaves ten seventy five. So this actually is what stays in the bank to take care of those. Ten seventy five is what is left, and then I added the Sam's correction, which was already in the in that account, and so that brought us to one thousand one hundred and thirteen dollars. Then my husband ended up having to get gas this morning because he already went through his last uh, few bucks. So he needed some extra money for gas. So he went ahead and swiped his card for that. So that brought us to $1,053 that I was able to pull out for this specific paycheck. So 1053 plus the 298 equals 1351. So that is what we pulled out in total from the bank. That is what is in this nice thick little package all right so now that you're all caught up these are the things that we are going to be stuffing today and i am looking forward to this i've been looking forward to this so much for like two weeks since i did my last stuffing i really enjoy doing this so sit back relax and let's get to stuffing all right i'm gonna put this off to the side just so i We'll have that on hand. But first things always first, we need to pull out our money. 1351, this is the teller slip that I gave and what we should be expecting in this big, large wad of cash. All right, I'm just gonna go ahead and get started um, rearranging this. I'll probably speed this up like usual and um, enjoy watching.
pull from the bank. So we are good to go. All right, so first thing we're going to stuff is, as always, my, um, let's just pull out groceries, spending, and allowances. And then I did get my husband's envelopes this time, so this is good. All right, so I'm gonna put these back in order. Um, for groceries, we do have some left over, not very much. So we have five, six, seven dollars left over. We're gonna leave that in there for a rollover just to be safe. And groceries is getting 56, and that was in the form of a 50, a 55. 56, 50, 55, 56, and then we're gonna add it to what we have here. So we have 50, 55, 60, 61, 62, 63. Now keep in mind, I've already bought all the groceries that I need for all the dinners and lunches and breakfasts and snacks and things like that. So this is likely gonna go to drinks because we do go through some drinks. All right, I'm gonna put that over here. Spending. So um, actually, let's go to my husband's gas first. Gas, he is getting 140, and that is mainly because he um, went ahead and spent $60, swiped it today. So he's getting these all in 20s, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, that's 40. Let me see if I have any ugly 20s in here that I don't want. That one's not pretty either. Get some nice crispy 20s to go into my actual sinking funds. You know what I'm saying? Anybody else like that? 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40. It's 140 for his gas. I like his. It looks very manly to me. All right, I'm going to go ahead and start checking these off. I'm not sure if you can see this far on the camera, but if you can, then you can. Then we have our spending, which is 150 each for me and my husband. I take mine in 250s. And then 220s. And two fives this time. So that should be 150. One. One, I mean, 50, 100, 20, 40, 45, 50. So 150. That's mine. And then my husband, he labeled his savings, but he gets 150 as well. So he does his in the biggest bills possible. So those will go to him. I'm going to move this down and then move this up. Let's give it a little space here. Okay, so allowances. This is for my children, and they get 10, 10, and then two fives and two fives, two fives, and two fives. Okay. So let me just fix that one dollar or one five dollar bill because I just can't even. There it is. Okay, let's count this up really quickly. 10, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. So that's their allowances for today and next Friday. Ready to go. Okay, 
And then all of these are done. I will put these back in my wallet, which they slide right on in here. Perfectly. All right, and then this will go to my husband. All right, so we finished mine, his, and the kids. All right, so now we get to go into our sinking funds. The first one that we have is toiletries. And I hope you guys can forgive me, but I have not filled these out, so I'm gonna have to fill out the trackers as we go. I'll try to do it really, really fast. But toiletries already has 30, and we are going to be adding another 30. And I did this in, let me just do it this way. Okay, I added, I did this in a 20 and a 10. Right, so now we have 20, 40, 50, 60. So now we have 60. We added 30. Now we have 60. I promise I will try and get faster with writing these because I don't want this video to be too long. But, you know, anyway. Um, eating out will not be getting anything. We are all stuffed for eating out at 100. Can you see that? Um, we're, we're stuffed at a hundred already and that's for tonight's eating out and then the next paycheck will stuff for that one All right, so beauty will be getting stuff today for $25 um, Right now it has none because my boys did get their haircuts So now we have to build this back up for their next haircuts So add 25 I apologize if my handwriting is messy, but I'm also trying to do it fast, so I'm not keeping you here all day. I don't want you to get bored, you know? All right, so allowances, I did have to take out of allowances to pay for things. You can see about that in the last video. Um, but now I want to stock it right back up because I feel bad. This was my backup allowances just in case. And it's going to be getting the normal, um, denominations that they usually get for their allowances for two weeks. So two tens, five, 10, 15, 20, 30, 35, 40. So that should take care of two weeks worth of allowances. This is just a backup plan just in case, you know, things happen and I'm not able to set aside money for allowances. I will always have theirs you know that's what's important they do their chores they should get paid for it all right so allowances is stuffed right back up we only borrowed you for a couple of days um family fun will actually be getting something today just a little something because it looks lonely and we took it out so i'm just gonna put five in there we can't really go anywhere anyway, so this is just gonna be for the one day we might be able to do something fun. All right. Pets is going to be getting 30. I'm gonna have to buy diapers for them, for one of them very soon. So now Pets has 20, 30, 40, 41. Amazon is going to be getting five dollars. Um, this is likely going to start building up to pay for another one of these binders or two, um, mainly because these are getting so full that they're actually bending these, and I don't like that. So I'm going to start just putting a little bit here and there away until I have enough to buy some more binders, and then I can take out 
you know, some of these and put them in a separate binder. I'm thinking probably like kid savings and I don't know, we'll see. All right, Sam's is going to be getting 28 and that is in the form of a 25 and 31. And then we are going to add that to what is in here. We have twenties, fives, twenty, forty, sixty, sixty-five, seventy, seventy, one, two, three, four, five. So now we have seventy-five in sands, which is very good because. Um, you never know, Sam's gets a little expensive and the check might be a little short. So this will be like a backup plan for Sam's. Alright, house maintenance is going to get Gifts is not going to be stuff today because I don't really have any birthdays coming up. Um, clothing is going to be getting five dollars. Car maintenance is next. Um, we're just skipping miscellaneous because that's just miscellaneous. Car maintenance is getting $200. And now car maintenance has one, two, three, four, five. Date night is going to be getting eight dollars. Five, six, seven, and eight. And Peach Pass is going to be getting the twenty dollars since the other peach past $20 that I set aside last paycheck has not been spent yet. So we're leaving the $20 that's in online and we are adding a 20 here just for a backup plan. So if ever he spends over $20, then we have extra that we can deposit to cover it. Okay. So that is it for our short-term sinking funds. And now we're going to move on to our long-term sinking funds. First is vacation. Now I know that if you've watched my past videos, you know I've got this fully stuffed. I even have the goal met here. But I decided to add a little bit more because you know I want to just make sure that we have more than enough, if you will. So I am adding um, $63. So we're putting that as 320s, 20, 40, 60, and three ones. One, two, three. We're gonna add that to what we have here. All right, so now vacation has one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, two thousand. One, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight, nine, 20, 40, 60, 80, 3,000. So five, uh, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. So $3,010. Sixty-three, and I totally did not plan that. Three thousand ten dollars. I really didn't plan that, but it looks prettier. All right, so let me just check my math here. Um, yep, that's correct. In case you were wondering, here's my vacation breakdown. And this just shows that our deposit, we did 500. Our stimulus, we dropped 4,000 in, right? And so we had this much to pay on the house, which we paid. And then this is what we sit or, are sitting aside for groceries, um, for gas, for the golf cart we're renting, for the rentals on the beach, for bathing suits is what I set aside, which I only spent just like, um, I only spent, 143 so far. I still have to get my son a bathing suit and possibly myself. My husband doesn't need one. Um, that left a balance of 690, which is why I am thinking I wanted to add more. So I just added another 100. So I have about 210 more um, to add to this just for just spending. You know, we go out to eat or whatever. I want to make sure that I have enough there. So that was my vacation breakdown. It's basically like envelopes inside of an envelope without the envelopes. If that makes sense. Oh goodness, this is thick. Thick with two C's. All right. Forgive me. Now we're going to do Christmas um, holidays. There's no holidays coming up until Halloween, so we're good on that for a little while. Christmas, we are back to stuffing this. We did have 2000 um, then we had a dryer situation, so we're back down to 1,000 total. That 1,000 is in the bank, so this is a placeholder. It's fake. Don't think I, that I just have $1,000 bills, no. So it's sitting in the bank at, and it's being used as my buffer right now. Um, but we are gonna actually start adding back to Christmas. So this time it's getting a $100 bill. So now we have 1,000. 100 in Christmas. Which is good, back on our way up for Christmas. I know you're probably thinking that's a lot of money for Christmas, but you have to keep in mind, I'm a family of five and we also have a lot of extended family as well. So it gets costly. All right, hubby is stuffed for now. Wifey is all stuffed. Birthdays are all stuffed. Renovations is not getting stuffed. School is not getting stuffed. Electronics is not getting stuffed. But my son's graduation, which is coming so soon, he is so almost done, is getting another $100 bill. And that leaves us at 300. So yeah. $100 bill, I, my goal is 2000 but he is trucking through his lessons and his courses. So I know that I won't have this to 2000 by that time, but he's willing to wait, so good for us. 300 so far stuffed for him. Then both my daughters who have a long way to go before they get there, they're both getting 10 stuffed into theirs, just slowly building theirs up. 10, 20, five is what they have now. And I got a while to go before I really need to start focusing on theirs. So I do want it to still kind of start going up though. Twenty-five. 
right, and then we do have driver's education, which I had to pull from for Finn Foster. So we're gonna start building this back up. We're putting 20 back in. We took 20 out, we're putting it back in. So we're back at 30. And this is for their driver education courses online to get them prepared to take that big test. <laughs> and I need like 30, 60, 90, I need 60 more dollars in this. Okay, so that will do it for this binder, for our long-term binder. And now we're going to move on to our savings binder. I love stuffing this one for some reason. I really, really do. All right, so savings is going to get our normal 24. And that is a two. And one, two, three, four. All right, let's see what we have now. 20, 40, 60, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72. That's awesome, it actually is growing. I like to see that. Well, that's exciting. Okay, and now retirement. This is above what we have in 401ks and stocks and things like that. This is just a little something extra, you know what I mean? So we're gonna add our normal seven this time. Five, six, seven. And if you are one of the few that have watched like all the videos that I've done so far, you'll notice that some of these denominations are different than what we started with. And that's because I had to like make change for other things. So 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 in retirement. Very good. Emergency fund is going to be getting five dollars and pretty much every um, Envelope after this is getting five Five ten fifteen is also getting five. Five, ten, fifteen. Rollover is not gonna get anything right now. My son's savings is getting five. My daughter's savings, also five for five, ten, fifteen, twenty. And my baby daughter's savings is also getting a five. Let's go with this one. A 10, 15, 20.
child cars just for my kids. Also getting five. Five, 10, 15. And I do realize that I have them out of order of their age, but it's okay. 5, 10, 15. And my son's car is getting the last five. Very good. And again, I'm not doing any cha challenges because I am very new to this, so I just want to get in the rhythm of this first before I try to accomplish that. And yes, that means that we are not stuffing our just-in-case binders. <sighs> Sadly, one day, one day you'll be stuffed. Okay, so that will be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. And if you did, please, please, please hit that subscribe button and um, like the video. When you like the video, it actually shares it more to other people, which kind of like helps my channel grow, which would be nice. So like, share, comment, um, subscribe, please. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed watching it, and I will see you in the next video. Bye! Mm -hmm.